you can now choose which dates appear on your payroll calendar. By default, pay date and bank date are visible, with check date and gyro date both hidden. You can configure your settings to choose which dates you want to show or hide. These settings apply when creating a new calendar, when viewing the calendar details, and when setting the period. New validation has been added to prevent errors when processing statutory sick pay. If an employee has been employed for less than 13 weeks, an error appears on their timesheet. Or if the SSP payment is missing from a timesheet, you'll also see an error to alert you. When exporting gender pay gap reports, you'll now see a warning if you include a payment type in more than one category. This will help you to avoid duplicate payments in the exported information. An additional check is now completed when you run Validate Payroll Data. If you have any employees under the age of 16 who are on the wrong PRSI code, you'll be alerted when you run Validate Payroll Data and provided with the steps to resolve the issue. When managing users, you'll now be alerted if any username does not have a password assigned, helping to keep your payroll data secure. The warning appears when you're logged into the admin account and try to edit or add any new users.